Again, we're backstage here at the Zeitgeist Media Festival with comedian Rick Overton. Welcome, Rick. Thanks, Dutch. Thanks for having me here. It's really fun to be part of uh, something that I think is actually changing the species and the planet. There's a lot of people, got a lot of info that's really spun their heads around, and it really transcended both parties. The people that have come to see the truth of what's going on with Zeitgeist are ditching a lot of their old paradigm uh, that they were raised with to see there's this whole new thing occurring, and that's how evolution works. It takes little bits from the past, and it reassembles it into a brand new shape, and that new shape is what's happening here. The Zeitgeist movement does feel like an evolution, an evolution of the spirit and of the mind. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that comedy and entertainment in general can help engage people in a more collaborative, uh, more functioning society? Comedy has through the ages been used to sneak truth out in a way where they don't kill you as quickly because it looks really bad for the person who got mad at you for it so we can sort of duck and dodge the uh the scrutiny a little further because the person who picks on you that's why bill o'reilly he can't do much to john stewart is the or, or to cold bear you can say what you want he's going i'm a comedian you look like a moron attacking me <laughs> he's like that bar of soap you can't catch him no matter what he does and he can do whatever he wants to you and they have comedians have shifted tina fey may be responsible for us not having vice president palin she may have shifted the votes that much that saved civilization to at least get us a chance to get back on our feet again and what do you think about the fact that more and more Americans have little or no faith in actual media, corporate news, and they're actually reaching to the John Stewart's mm -hmm. and the Colbert reports mm -hmm. for just to get their daily news? It's interesting how now we're uh, we're facing uh, uh, the end of an era of news, and it's in no small part their fault. They got so arrogantly stupid about the things they said that if only even the most diehard denialist had to go what yeah and one ear went up and once that one ear goes up generally it doesn't go down again the other ear goes up uh, I saw an interview with Ralph Nader a few years back and he said that when he visited Moscow many years ago what impressed him most was the level of satire he said that in a repressed society where people know that media is not to be trusted mm -hmm. the satire rises higher and higher and I, it, it feels like we're, what we're into now yeah luckily one of our lucky breaks is that the ones doing it they were cunning and clever at one time and now have gone unbelievably crazy and stupid they're falling apart. It's like people that are that evil have a built-in fuse, and nature figures out a way to take them out. They go crazy in front of everyone so we can see, and that's what's happening. They're all going nuts, and they're uncontrollably nuts, and no matter how many th things their handlers do to tamp them down, they pop up again like a jack-in-the-box. Whether it's Zimmerman or Bachman or whoever it is or Palin, it, the, this, the guys in the control room are going, don't say that, no, too late, they said it, it's yeah. permanent. And we're, we had a lot to do with them folding, and they had a lot to do with them folding. Which means I think there's a new, just a, a new wind blowing in a larger sense culturally. And the internet helped us wake up to the point where you, ne cat, never going back in the bag again, ever. You're not you'll have to just wipe the species out, which I know you're trying to do, but I don't think you can now because we saw your plans, you know? So it's all, out all on you the need table. to do to destroy a clock is make it jump one tooth. And it doesn't look like anything at first, but it's slowly rocking all of its axles off of all the hubs, of all the gears. We're certainly you know, a spring is about to blow. And so, we're certainly a tooth off right now. They, they, they wanted a bigger mess with Occupy than they got. They wanted a fight. They wanted a fight with Ferguson. And without it, they look evil, instantly Star Wars science fiction level evil when they're standing there and, oh, and people just got cardboard. Certainly didn't validate that getup, you know? Yeah, they're dressed like stormtroopers from the evil empire. Exactly. It's like they're following the Orwell meets Star Wars handbook. One tooth just went off with that. That's one part of their PNAC plan that just disintegrated on them. They wanted violence back and didn't get it because that's what Gandhi was talking about. That's what Jesus was talking about. That's what John Lennon was talking about. That's why you always get rid of these guys is because they're giving you the one tactical, valuable thing that transcends all the other advice. 
And maybe that's what Mario Sava was referring to back in the 60s when he said when the machine is just done entirely evil, you must throw your body upon the gears and throw the machine out of whack, if you remember that quote. And, and that's what the clobberings are about. That's so, what the tear gassings and the rubber bullets are for, I know. And the internet and the protest. And boycotting is that. You want to put, you just want to throw a wrench into the gears? Boycott. Then you're scaring board members and shareholders, and they make shit change instantly. On that, where can our audience find your work, find out more about you, upcoming shows, more about Rick Overman? Overton. Well, you can find out uh, at uh, 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 Sideshow Network. I have my podcast called Overview. And that's... Uh, Overview? Yeah, iTunes and at Sideshow Network. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Do you have a final word for uh, viewers of this show that maybe they're being introduced to the Zeitgeist movement for the first time or to Rick Overton for the first time? Study up. Look at all the Zeitgeist Project films and uh, learn about not just how religion started but how our economic structure works. It's inherently the same guys. Uh, and be aggressively kind and courageously brilliant. I look forward to doing more with you and uh, Culture in Decline and hopefully we get uh, more Right. And, look, and check content. out all the Culture in Declines as well. That's right, Culture and Decline on YouTube. Uh, Rick and I both had bit parts and uh, had a chance to help try to unjack the system one video at a time. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Dutch.